Hi, I'm Eleanor Silverstein, and today I'm going to talk to you about your vagus nerve system. And a lot of times we see that beautiful branching picture that's in sepia tone that shows the head turned to the side and the profile and the vagus nerve branches. But in this class that I'm going to be teaching soon that will be in person in January uh, in Dallas, Texas, I also will be teaching this elsewhere, but also in Dallas, Texas, we're also going to go into another level of detail about why rolling the head and moving with the head in the way that we do with the Feldenkrais method makes such a difference. Are you ready for this? Take a look at this. Here is the base of the skull. This is the front of the skull and this is the back of the skull. This is the opening in the base of the skull. So we're looking down into the skull. And this is in the base of the skull where the spinal cord comes through. How many of you ever realized that there are all these other openings in the base of the skull? That's richness of our important nerves. They don't all just go down the one in the middle that the spinal cord goes through. This is what we're going to talk about the jugular foramen. This is going to be part of what we talk about because this is where the vagus nerve goes through. And did you know that it's a little bit smaller on the left side than on the right side? And the left side, just by coincidence, is the side neurologically that tends to have most of the angst. It gets me wondering back in the old prehistoric days, why were we designed to have that smaller? We're gonna talk about why. There are very good reasons why it's a little bit smaller and a little bit different. This picture isn't quite depicting it, but again, it's a picture. If we actually saw the base of a real skull, you would see it's a little bit kinked off right here in there, and it gets a little impinged on. There are excellent reasons why this is the case. We're going to talk about it and we're going to learn in this workshop how to really work with our own head and neck and how we can do this work with our own clients and with people. I also do this with horses, I do this with dogs, I do this with cats because I work in the veterinary field too, working with animals. But with people, this is so important that we're working with the tone in the neck and movement and how we do this using Feldenkrais awareness through movement lessons and hands-on functional integration. You're gonna see what a difference in the quality of your being happens before and after. I welcome you to join us in this workshop. It's gonna be eye-opening. Hope to see you soon.